Okay, so we hope you enjoyed this tour and especially the build up starting from the basics to the more advanced setups for uh, doing lectures and tutorials or conference calls online. There's a few things that uh, whether you spend a lot of money or not, whether you're interested in the stuff or not, uh, a few things that are key to remember. Um, first, uh, when you talk about the audio, um, try to remove hard surfaces, try to put pillows, blankets, any material that absorbs sound so it doesn't bounce around against the walls helps. If you need to do any investment uh, and you're not sure, then buy a microphone. It's the best investment you can do to increase the quality of your lectures and to make sure that students or people who are listening to you are engaged. Uh, the second step would be framing and setup. So uh, don't just blindly put your laptop on the table or use your desk, but really think about a setup that allows you to stand, project, engage um, by, for example, raising the laptop or using an external camera, put a screen next to it. So it's easier for you to make eye contact with the camera and feel that you're engaged uh, with the viewer. And standing again helps also with the audio, uh, the voice and the volume that you project. Um, for the image quality, think about the lights. So make sure that you are the one facing the window, facing the bright uh, lights so that it uh, comes across better on camera. Make sure there's no lights shining into the camera and remove any settings for autofocus or auto brightness because it can be quite distracting. Uh, also, but this is a bit of a personal preference of ours. Try to avoid using virtual backgrounds. We know, know it's fun options to play with but they don't always work correctly and it can be quite distracting if you see uh, you know, images being rendered or artifacts or any other uh, materials happening on these uh, things. So it's better to build a proper background than using the virtual backgrounds. Um, finally, don't be afraid to use uh, props, especially if you have your hand, if you can make a, a setup where you can stand and your hands are free then uh, try to you try to include props point to a book uh, use a uh, lego stuffed doll or whatever you need to keep the uh, viewer engaged most of all don't be afraid to experiment there is a lot of people on youtube who have been doing this for years so watch their tutorials you can look at tutorials on open broadcaster software studio on uh, making youtube videos uh, all these tutorials there's a lot of inspiration you can drive from that. Don't be afraid to experiment. All these things are modular. You, can, you don't have to do all of it at the same time. You can build up and expand uh, over time. Uh, good luck. If there's anything else you would like to know or like to know more details about, don't be afraid to reach out. And thank you for watching.